How are you for? I hope you're all well. Today's PE lesson you are working on balancing. You're going to be performing strong point balances with equipment and apparatus at home. Okay, now before we get into our warm up, there's three checks that we need to do before we get started. The first one is making sure we have a nice clear space. Any objects that may be in your way, try and remove them. Okay, the second one is making sure you have appropriate PE kit on. So a sport top, sport shorts or bottoms. And the last one is making sure you have a water bottle close, because there's going to be times in the lesson that you can pause it, go and get yourself a drink. We're working on balancing today. Hopefully by the end of the lesson, you would have gone through loads of different point balances using apparatus at home and equipment that you've got around you. Let's get into our warm up. Okay, so a bit of a different warm up today. Um, you do need two spots or markers. So quickly pause the video and go and find two spots or markers. If you've got that, let's get into the warm up. Three different movements. The first one is going to be a simple jog on the spot. The second one is going to be a side run. So you're going to go feet in the middle and then feet out and then feet in the middle and feet out. So you're going to bring your knees up. And the last one is going to be a figure of A, using your spots again, but you're going to be hopping through. Now don't worry if you're not too sure what one of their movements is, but you're still confused, you've got to be following along with me. Okay, so just work hard. Remember, it's just a warm up, so you don't need to be going through the movements too quick, but enough to increase that heart rate. So if you're in your space and you've got your two markers down on the floor with a small gap, Movement, so just jumping on the spot. Get that heart rate up so we're safe and ready for our main activity for today. Increase that heart rate. Okay, into the second one. We're going to go right knees over. Facing the front, and go forward, there, backwards, in the right way round. Good, keep going. Forwards and round. Okay, back to our jog. Great start. Oh, it's a tiring one. My legs aching already. Good. Almost there. Let's change feet. Go through with the other one. 
two figures of eight. There's one. And there is two. Right, well done everyone. That was quite a hard warm up. Pause. Great start year four. Should have just got yourself a quick drink. Should be all nice and warm now from your warm up. Ready for the main activity. Like I said today, we are working on balancing. So for the first main activity, what I want you to do is create your own one point, two point and three point balance with equipment that you have at home. So I'm lucky enough to use the PE equipment. I have a hoop. So I'm now going to go through a simple one, two and three point balance. And the difference is, is the, uh, the use of different body parts. Okay, so a one point balance is very simple. You're balancing on one part of your body. Okay, again, I'm using my equipment in different ways, okay, to make my balance a bit more creative. I'm sure you can come up with better ones than me. Okay, a two point balance is using two parts of your body. Okay, so it could be now your knee and your foot in this position here. Okay. Again, I'm sure you could come up with better balances than me. I'm just showing you nice and quickly. And then a three point balance is using three parts of your body to balance with your equipment. Now let's talk about the different points you could use. Okay, the first one is your hands. Second one, elbow. You can use your back, tummy and bottom. You can use your knees and your feet. So they're the point balances that you could be using when you're creating your balances. So be creative, try and use different parts of your body to balance on, and try and think about where you can put your equipment when you're creating these balances. Now to have strong balances, a couple of things that I want you to think about before you get started, making sure you keep your head straight, okay? As soon as you start turning your head and creating movement in a balance, that makes it a lot harder for you to stay in one position. Make sure the, uh, the points that you're balancing on are nice and strong. Try and, try and squeeze that muscle so you keep them straight. Okay, you need a nice strong trunk, so try and tense your core. Okay, and then can you use your other body parts to counterbalance yourself? So a good example, if I was in a one point balance here, and I start swaying to the side, I can use this arm to pull me back straight. I'm trying to tense my core, keep my head straight, and I'm tensing my leg muscles here, because that's the point that so I'm balancing on. So the exercise now, you come up with a one point, two point, and a three point balance using equipment that you have at home. Off you go. Hey, if also hopefully you come up with some really creative 1.2 point, 3 point balances with equipment that you have at home. We're now going to use an apparatus, so you could now use a small stool that you have at home, a small chair, you could maybe use your sofa, a bed. Now there is going to be a specific rule that you must follow when using the apparatus at home that you have. The rule is that you're only going to be creating a two point, three point and four point balance. The reason you're not going to create a one point balance is because I don't want you to be balancing on top of the apparatus without any contact on the floor. So what I mean by that is a simple two point balance could be this here. So one point here, one point here. So I've always got contact on the floor. I'm not just balancing on the apparatus itself. Really important you follow that. Another simple one, if I go into a three point balance, I'm gonna use my two hands and one foot. So it should look like something like this. Okay, again, I've got contact on the floor with my foot, my hands are my other two points in there on the apparatus. Okay, so again, you're coming up with a two point balance, a three point balance and a four point balance using at home apparatus, be creative. Try and use different point balances. You could use your elbow, okay, back, uh, knees, feet, hands. Try and be creative when you come up with these balances. That's your progression activity, off you go. 
Okay, fantastic. So hopefully you come up with a creative one, uh, two, three, and four point balance with your apparator for your progression activity. Remember, still really important, even though you're using the apparatus at home, that you tense that core, keep that head straight, tense the body parts that you're using in your balance, and try and be creative with the points that you also use. Okay? I'm going to set you a challenge now, and this is what I would like to see when sending pictures and videos in. I want you to come up with your best point balance using now the equipment and your at-home apparator. Remember our one rule today, where you must have a point that is contacted on the floor. Okay, so you must be touching the floor with one point all the time to keep us safe when doing PE at home. Again, be creative when you're coming up with these, so spend some time, try different positions, try different points. You might just do a two point, or you could be using a four point balance. Add your equipment back in now, with how could you use your equipment to make it more creative, and your at-home apparatus that you're using. That's your challenge, remember to send pictures to your year group email, because I would love to see how you get on with this challenge. Off you go.